I'm I'm back. <laughs> Today it's going to be my Jul July. Is yeah, July favorite. Just before I jump into the video, I really want to thank each and every one of you who have sent me an overwhelming amount of love and support. It like really touched me and it like almost shocked me that so many people like cared to say that and to be so nice even though I know y'all never like some of y'all never met me in real life lah so yeah it, it was a really nice thing for y'all to do and uh, I'm so glad that I'm making your day as much as you are making mine and yeah okay I get really weird when I talk about feelings because sometimes I just like start talking in metaphors and then like I don't complete my thoughts so let's okay let's just I just thank you Let's just, let's just move on, okay? I'm shy. <laughs> right. So, this is gonna be my very first favourites video. I think it'll be interesting for me to share with you like what I've enjoyed over the month and um, yeah, I'm like really, I'm really excited to share what I like with you guys. I've got like fashion, I've got beauty, I've got skincare, I've got makeup and uh, like a miscellaneous product and then also like a book and a film. Yeah, I just wanted to be quite comprehensive about what I'm loving this month. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Please let me know in the comments if you would like me to do more favourites videos because then I'll be totally up for it. So, okay, sorry, sorry, sometimes I sound like a bimbo when I'm excited. Normally it happens when I talk about things that I like. So, yeah, okay, let's get into it, okay? First things first, we're gonna go into makeup. The first thing that I really have been loving a lot, a lot, a lot is this. It's the EX1 Invisiware Liquid Foundation. And holy shit, I was not expecting for me to fall in love with the foundation this much. I think this may honestly be my favourite foundation now. I really, really love it. It's a good colour match for me. It's very yellow based. The packaging is good, like it clicks on really well, it's a pump so it's really hygienic and I can't say enough good things about this foundation, it lasts the whole day, doesn't make your skin look weird, it's not a very heavy coverage which is good because I don't really need such a heavy coverage, I feel like it'll really like make my skin break out and like you know just freak out in general so I really have been enjoying this foundation the first time I used it ever is on video it's in a get ready with me I'll link it down below and I do have a discount code for this but I'm not sponsored I'm not paid to say this yeah I've been wearing it like almost every time I wear foundation like this is the only thing that I wear pretty holy grail for me this is what inspired my entire favorites video because I just like wanted to tell you guys that this is really great <laughs> The next makeup products are these, the Colourpop Lippy Sticks and the Lippy Pencils. They're both in Brink and this is what I have on right now. I forgot to mention that I have the foundation on right now as well. I can't say, I really do love the pencil. I love the Lippy Sticks too, but then everyone kind of knows that I love the Lippy Sticks, but I didn't mention how much I love the Lippy Pencil. It's just a very nice colour. This is actually the exact colour of my lips, but like obviously not as bright lah. It's kind of more on the muted side so for me to wear this I look and feel very comfortable and very confident and I think it just enhances my lips in a very natural way so this is what I have been loving now I'm moving on to skincare and I want to talk about this first this is the Body Shop Skin Defense Multi Protection Essence it has SPF 50 and it has UVA protection, UVB protection it's an antioxidant and anti dullness I've just been using this kind of as like a sunblock and a primer to my makeup and I've really been loving it because I feel like it doesn't clog your pores and it's a very light uh, sunscreen. I am so bad at putting on sunscreen because I really really hate the smell and the texture of sunscreen but for this one I really don't feel it. I just feel like I added a small layer of like moisturizer on my face and yeah I, I just think that this has been working pretty well because I can see that my skin hasn't been getting darker. In fact I've been getting fairer so I like to attribute it to this. I picked this up in mid-June and I've been using it quite consistently since so yeah I enjoy this. The next thing I love is Bioderma. I love it so much that I have like two bottles of it. Also there's like foundation stain at the back. How gross am I? Oh, I never got into the hype even though I saw a lot of people talking about it online because I was just like I use an oil based cleanser and I just remove all of my makeup and then I just like call it a day right so I've never needed to use like a cotton pad to kind of like remove my makeup before I get into the shower but now that I'm getting a, a bit more busy or like if I'm just too lazy to hop in the shower immediately right I just kind of use this 
and I just like remove my face makeup and it removes it really really well and I love that it just feels like water it doesn't smell uh, like anything and it just leaves your skin kind of refreshed after sometimes I even use this like when I'm not even wearing makeup just to get off the dirt and sometimes I just like take my q-tip or my cotton bud and I just like dip it in and then I remove my eyeliner and like clean it up and stuff so I just feel like it's really really handy if you are not willing to splurge on Bioderma per se I've heard from some of my friends that the Garnier Micellar water is really good too I've not tried it out yet so I can't really say for sure if I like it but but yeah, just as an alternative if you want to get micellar water and you don't want to get Bioderma. Alright, now we're moving on to miscellaneous favourites of the month. I think it's so cute. It's called the Bespoke Box. It's a box subscription service for um, people going through like PMS or like, you know, uh, the time of the month. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I just, I really love the idea. I think it's kind of like a little cheeky too and it's like a like a secret among like those people that know what this is. I will show you what's in the box. I had to like control myself, okay? I had to like not use my stuff so that I can show you guys, okay? There are snacks like Ferrero Rocher's and um, okay, there are a lot of worms and remember the last time I like threw worms around my room? Like that was not a good idea. So there's candy. Yeah, there's panty liners. I got a very cute sleeping eye mask from Typo. A drawstring pouch which is honestly really really cute and really quirky. I feel like you can put like pets or whatever else inside. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this but like it's damn cute lah. I love it. I guess the star of the show is the Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Pore Cleansing Foam. And I just think it's a really great like set, you know. You have like girl care stuff, you've got like an artsy gift and you've got you know, like pampering stuff and then you get snacks. So yeah, I just think um, it's a very good idea to treat yourself, um, especially when you're going through like the time of the month. And no one should feel ashamed for going through something that literally half the world has to go through. Yeah, I just wanted to give them a shout out because they send this to me and they are a local company. And I just think it's such a great idea. So for my fashion favourites, I want to draw your attention here. This is one of them. It's my off-the-shoulder top that I haul in my Taobao, like casual clothes for summer haul. I will leave a link to it down below also. But like honestly, this is so bloody comfortable. And I think it looks really good and it's really inexpensive. So this was a really really good find. Whenever I wear this, I feel like very like sultry and like very like... Kim K is sophisticated. I don't know, does Kim K wear off the shoulder? I don't know. I just feel like a million bucks when I wear it, okay? So, <laughs> final favorite fashion item would be these shoes that I also haul from Taobao. Like, they are really, really comfortable and they look like really classy and really nice and I don't have to worry about screwing them up because they were so inexpensive. I always break shoes, I like tear clothes, I snag my knitwear. Like, I am just the destroyer of all things. So, when something looks really good and doesn't cost a lot and it's easy for me to replace, I'd really it's good for me and I like it so much that I actually got one in grey too I was gonna save this for my like second Taobao haul because again I bought stuff again I just really love this cut because it's so minimalistic I like the height of the heel I don't think it's too high I think it's high enough to just give me a bit of height but like not make it uncomfortable I love the suede and I just love the ankle straps and I love I love everything about it so that is my fashion fave. Okay, so that's all for like tangible items. I'm gonna talk about my favorite films now. I've got two because I really can't decide. Uh, the first one is Moonrise Kingdom. It came out in 2012 if I'm not wrong. Okay, all you hipsters don't beat me up, okay? I've been meaning to watch Moonrise Kingdom for a while now and I just never got the time to and I always think like a Wes Anderson film should always be watched with someone else because like it's really nice to have ideas bounce off and to like look at the same thing and like think about the you, you know what I mean I've always watched Wes Anderson films with like other people who always have like such a diverse opinion some people think he's absolutely ridiculous um, some people love him and some people are just like okay yeah it's just like a movie and I I love him I love the colors I love the scenes I love the camera work like I love the plot, I love the way the characters are being portrayed. I watched it with my friend and we both really enjoyed it and it was just... <sighs> Moonrise Kingdom may very well be one of my like favorite Wes Anderson films because I just, I just, it made me 
smile and it made me like laugh and it just made me feel a lot of things and that's what film is supposed to do. I, I really really enjoyed Moonrise Kingdom, very overdue. I'm glad I watched it, I'm, I'm glad I enjoy it. <laughs> The next film that I also caught this month that I've really enjoyed, I watched Apprentice by a local director, Bu Jun Feng, and my goodness, I... <sighs> I always feel like this like overwhelming sense of pride and like, I don't know, like belonging almost when I see local films that are really, really, really good. And there's just something really different about watching local films as opposed to watching, say, Moonrise Kingdom or something else that's really global or very Americanized. I don't know if they're still showing and I don't know if they'll come out with DVDs and stuff. I really hope they do. But I watched it at GV at um, Suntec and it was just... It was really, really great. Like, it made me hold my breath at how beautiful some of the scenes were and how nervous I was about what was happening. I think it's a very lovely thing for directors and um, filmmakers to marry, like, both the plot and the aesthetic of the film, which is exactly, like, why I love Moonrise Kingdom and Apprentice so much. Uh, I'll leave the trailer down below if anyone, like, literally doesn't know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, I, I just think it, like, plucked a few of my heartstrings and I could really see how much effort and research has been put into the film and I like really appreciate it, you know? When someone's effort shows through, you're like, damn, like that's really impressive. So I really enjoyed the film. Um, not a big fan of the ending. I wish it ended differently but I respect the way that it's ended. So yeah, it definitely is one of my favourite films this month and to be fair, I have watched a lot of films this month. I've watched a lot more than I did the past few months. So yeah, my final favourite is my book and oh my gosh, everyone is gonna judge me because it's a chick lit but it's really funny. It's also by someone local. It's called China Rich Girlfriend by Kevin Kwan. It's a sequel to Crazy Rich Asians. It's so funny! Honestly, I think the sequel, I think China Rich Girlfriend is better than Crazy Rich Asians and Crazy Rich Asians was already like pretty funny and it was like pretty good and I find it like really relatable in some ways so yeah, I I love China Rich Girlfriend and honestly, I would feel really embarrassed talking about it. I wish I could say like, oh, I love Jane Austen or something. I do love the way Kevin Kwan writes. I think it's really witty and I think he has this satirical way of talking about the Singaporeans and like the upper middle class and like the upper class and all that. It's a really nice, like light-hearted, really funny and really like witty and honest book. I just think it's, I think it's really great. <laughs> I just like, oh, so everyone's gonna judge me, what the hell, your favourite book of the month is China Rich Girlfriend, but honestly, if you read it, you'll understand, it's, it's really smart actually, um, yeah, I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it, and I have like laughed like out loud reading it, I will leave a link to its like good reads or something review lah down below, okay, so y'all can check it out. So that brings me to the end of my favourites video, uh, I really enjoyed myself making this video, like I didn't realise how fun it is to talk about things that you like, so yeah, I just like in a very good mood now. Um, <laughs> If you like this video as much as I like making it, then please click the thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button that looks like this. I think I'll leave a link here and also like, there's a button down below that looks exactly the same. You'll be the first to be notified if I make a new video and it's really exciting because I think I'm like gonna post like spontaneous videos. Please let me know if you want to see more favourites, I'll definitely be up for making like an August favourites if you guys want to. You can also leave in the comment section below what you'd like to see, some of the requests about like the studying and the uni and like all of those I have been keeping tabs so keep the requests coming in I will try and plan more videos and try and squeeze them in and yeah uh, thank you have a great day and I'll see you guys really soon bye cuz that's how I roll okay <laughs> there okay wait where all the worms all of the worms okay um are these shoes the black shoes that I showed you guys oh no what is what is this Sorry, whose art direction and like aesthetic is just <laughs> can't believe I use that word. Bye. I feel like whenever I go like bye, it just like goes like ah, and it's like oh, and it's like. Oh, that was really cool. Like I wanted to get that, so I ordered it online. But like, <laughs> see, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize that I bought the wrong size. They, they came in different colours, right? And I just like this, this cow print. And I didn't realise it was so bloody big. 